Okay, we are going to measure and calculate the launch velocity of the ball come out of this thing right here. Okay, so I have this already set up. I've measured the height from this to the floor. I'm going to shoot it horizontally and it's going to go over down there. Okay, and I'm going to measure the distance. Let me go ahead and shoot it again. Uh, let me move this over here so you can see, maybe. My office is a mess, so that's just a fact of life. Uh, let's see. So they're right there. Okay, let's shoot this thing. You should wear safety glasses. You don't have to wear safety glasses while watching the video, but it might not be a bad idea, just in case. Okay, so I'm going to shoot it, and I'm going to shoot it on this piece of paper, and there's a piece of carbon paper over the that. Let's see if you can see that. And that will mark the location, then I can measure it. So I'm going to put it on short range setting, click, get ready to fire. I lost the ball, that's fine. And then I have two dots right there. And now I'm going to measure the location. So straight down from where the ball is, and then along the ground like that. And that's the distance I got. So I got two distances. Okay. Take off the glasses. Okay, now let's go over to the board. Walk with me. And now we can calculate stuff. Okay. The angle's off a little bit. Okay. So, I've already written down the things that we know because I've prepared. Uh, so, shot the ball horizontally. I measured the height A. I measured the, the distance X. So, I'm going to go fast. So, in projectile motion, I know I have the X motion. In the X motion, I know the acceleration is zero. So, this is true. X final equals X initial plus V X initial times T. Now, the key is that since I'm launching the ball horizontally, the initial velocity is the x velocity. So if I can find the x velocity, that's the initial velocity. So I know, it's, let's say it started at x equals zero and it ended at x, so I could solve for v x zero equals x over t. Okay, but I don't know t. You, you could use the stopwatch and time it, but I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm going to use, so I'm gonna use that equation. Now let's look at the y motion. In the y direction, I have a ball that starts at a velocity zero and accelerates down at negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So I have this equation, y final equals y initial plus vy initial t minus one half gt squared. That's your kinematic equation for motion with the constant acceleration. Now this term, the initial velocity is zero and the initial height, the initial y value is h, what I measured, and then final y value is zero because it lands on the ground. So I get zero equals h plus zero minus one half g t squared. So now I can use this to solve for t and use that t up here. Okay, so if I add this to both sides, I get one half g t squared equals h, multiply both sides by two, divide both sides by g, I get t squared equals 2h over g, take the square root, t equals the square root of 2h over g. And I remember, I know g is 9.8, I know h is, I measured it, it's 0.965 meters, and x is 1.44, so I can find the time, plug it in here. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm not even going to find the time. You could find the time, I'm just going to plug it in. So if I put this expression for t in here, I get v0, which is, I'm just calling it the total launch velocity. v0 is going to be x, which I don't know, divided by t, which is 1 over this. So I get the square root of g over 2h. So now if I put my numbers in, I have x is 1.445 meters. If you don't put the distance in meters, and g is in meters per second squared, you're going to have a problem. Times the square root of 9.8 meters per second squared divided by 2 times 
0 0.965 meters. Okay, so let's just check real quick. This is going to be 1 over seconds in the square, 1 over seconds squared. I take the square root, I get 1 over seconds. I multiply by m, I get meters per second. I get the units for speed. I'm going to put this in my calculator, which I have right over here. I'm going to use my computer. I'm still here. Okay, so let's see. I have 1.445 times the square root of 9.8 divided by 2 times 0.965. And I get 3.26. That's my launch velocity, and I'm going to use that in another problem. Next. There you go. And there are multiple ways to find the launch velocity, but this is the easiest.